What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video and today I want to talk about two points. Number one, why tomorrow morning is going to be important and number two, what clearinghouse are you with? We're going to talk about both of those topics but right now I want to say that I am really happy with AMC right now. Up 10% to 1290 to close the day but over here in the post market we can see that we went as high as 1350 and we settled after post market at 1337 awesome movements love that what will be important about tomorrow or why do I feel tomorrow is going to be important well looking back historically you see this run up right here from 35 to 72 okay this happened in one day and it was a hundred percent move up the point the point is it was a Wednesday you see June 2nd 2021 go over here to the calendar June 2nd was a Wednesday okay then we come over here to this run up where they went from 1092 to 20 in one day all right and what day was that it shows me it's the 27th of January so looking at the calendar again was a Wednesday so both run-ups from the past this one and this one happened on Wednesdays now the pre-market is going to be really explosive so that's why I pay particular attention to the Wednesday pre-markets because I believe is if it's going to go, it's going to continue in a pattern and maybe go on, most likely on a Wednesday. So that's where we're at there. Then it leads me to my next point for you. Clearing houses, brokerages, and where are you at? All right. I googled Fidelity Clearing House, and it tells me that Fidelity is one that uses its own clearing house. National Financial Services LLC. Wells Fargo, TD Ameritrade, and E-Trade also are also self-clearing. Pay attention to the clearinghouse and consider that as you choose a brokerage. All right. So right here we find out that Fidelity, Wells Fargo, TD Ameritrade, and E-Trade are self-clearing. That means that when you push that sell button they're going to be responsible for making sure that transaction goes through their their own clearing houses and it also gives us a warning pay attention to the clearing house of where you're at and the question is do you know who your clearing house is consider that as you choose a broker so then I went ahead and did a little more research and I found the broker clearing house firms list and it tells you what brokerage firms and who their clearinghouse is. For example, uh, Betterment, Apex, Charles Schwab is a self-clearing. E-Trade is a self-clearing. That means they're responsible for whatever their customers, when they hit that sell button, E-Trade and Charles Schwab is on the hook to make sure that transaction goes through. Fidelity, we know come on down here Robin Hood Robin Hood cleared by Robin Hood yes they are self-clearing so when the crap hits the fan and people start selling that's on Robin Hood Robin Hood's responsibility to pay them all right and that's a good thing that's a good thing because as you see Apex here we got Sophie Wealth we got Sogo Trade Stash Investment Stockpile Tasty Works all these people are in Apex clearing all right Trade Station clears itself TD Ameritrade clears itself there's another one Twine with Apex do you see how heavy Apex is Weeble is with Apex Public is with Apex all right, when the crap hits the fan and Public and Weeble have to start selling whatever they got to do 
to make sure your transaction is going through, when they fail, it falls to the clearinghouse, which will be Apex. All right, and I'll put the link down below for this list where you can go and check your stop or your brokerage and see where they're at. But here's the thing, people: it's always been about the clearinghouses. I've told y'all, I've showed y'all the charts, I made the videos and showed you Apex was about to be busted. They were holding the max AMC shares. They had to do something to get people away from the Apex clearinghouse and spread them out to Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Fidelity, Merrill Lynch. I mean, get them out of Apex. Why? Because Apex was in control of shareholders that held shares of AMC in 513 million shares. So everybody was told to switch. We stay, we battle batten down the hatches and we're ready for this. Just know that if something is to happen, Robin Hood, you're good because you clear yourself. Merrill Lynch is good. They clear themselves. Let's see. First trade, Apex, Fidelity clears themselves. I mean, we, we, we good people. Just know that probably Apex will be the first one to go because they're so fucking heavy. Love y'all. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next video.